Hello, Year 4. Here's the final session for this term's inquiry. I'm going to read you a book called I Can Only Draw Worms by Will Mabbitt. This book is about worms. I can only draw worms. Here's worm one. Here's worm two. Here they are both together. It's hard to know which is which. I'll give the second worm glasses. That's better. Now you can tell them apart. Here's worm three. She's a different colour. No reason. I just lost my pen. Hello, worm four. Worm four thinks he's in charge of all the other worms. I don't know why. Here's worm five. He's a little poorly, I'm afraid. Poorly worms look just like normal worms. The next page is really exciting. Worm six is riding on a flying unicorn. I can't draw flying unicorns. I've drawn worm five again instead. Worm six flies his unicorn all the way to meet worm seven, who lives in outer space. On the way, worm six has an amazing adventure. We'll skip all that. Here's a picture of him meeting worm seven. He looks all cool, but inside is really excited. Oh dear, there's been a dreadful accident. It's not true that if a worm is cut in half, it makes two worms. It makes two half worms. Here's worm eight, and here's worm eight and a half. This page is blank. Worm nine is missing. And the others are starting to get worried. Here's worm ten instead, the last worm. He looks the same as worm one. Oh, it is worm one. Here's worm ten, last as usual. And look who he's found. Worm nine. She just nicked to the toilet. Sorry. That's okay, Worm 9. Everybody has to go sometimes. So now that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 and a half, 9, 10. 10 worms, all friends together. So you're probably wondering why this book. Well, as part of our creativity inquiry, I just wanted you to think about the fact that here's a man who admits he can only draw worms and he's managed to produce a whole book with the thing that he can draw. What I'd like you to try is think of an insect that you could draw. Could you produce a book with just that insect? Have a go. See how you get on.